I S U P K. The images of the situation in Del Rio moved the controversial group Israelite School of UPK to mobilize their car caravan when they were allegedly turned away in Del Rio and they headed to Eagle Pass. Came around to the Mexico side. Now we're in Mexico to give our brothers the resources that we have for them. After an hour plus trip, the caravan made it to this park in Ciudad Acuña, traveling through an area with a State Department travel warning level four for violence on the Mexican side due to the cartels. Being in a dangerous situation, that's being black, Hispanic or Native American. I mean, you know, our lives are dangerous. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sours. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something. Can't afford it, we're niggas across the board Ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man, cause in our camp It ain't no cowards, I'm important for grand Nigga, it's step before this song I'd rather die like a man of truth and love in the black community, man and that's because of our so-called leaders, man. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of One West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization. And we teach the truth according to the Bible. If you could, brother, hold this book up right here. According to the Bible, this Bible is no different than the Bible that's in your church, that's in your grandmother's church, that's in your mama's church, that's in your house collecting dust. The problem is we never understood what this book was saying all our lives. We never understood that while we go on to DNA and me and 23 and me and Ancestry.com trying to find out who we are and where we come from, and it's been right here in this book this whole time. We never understood that while we've been going to church all our lives and going to the mosque all our lives and going to the kingdom hall all our lives thinking we serving God when we didn't understand that this book right here has the answers. The Bible has always had the answers. And then in the ISUPK back here, we teach the truth according to this book. You understand? And according to this book, black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man, we are the real Jews. God's chosen people, right. you understand? And you can look at our lives, our lives bear witness. Black people produce greatness in the lowest conditions. We live in the worst conditions in America. We live in the ghettos. We live in the burials and the reservations. And still somehow we produce the greatest scientists, the greatest entertainers, the greatest generals and military war minds. Colin Powell just passed away. Colin Powell was a great military mind. But of course, America will never give him the credit he deserves for being a military tactician coming from the children of the slaves in America. Imagine if we were on an equal playing field as everyone else, we would surpass everyone else. Right. But you know what stopped us from what stops us from being prosperous as a people? I'll tell you why. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. If you got any answer about any question about life, just know the answers in this Bible. You understand? I'm going to show you why the black community has been stagnant for 400 years. The same thing we are suffering right now, we were suffering in the goddamn 50s. The same thing we're suffering right now, we were suffering in the goddamn 1800s. It's a damn shame, man. Why is it that we can't get ahead as a people? I'll tell you why. The Bible is going to tell you. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man, this is the problem with our community, with our people. Read. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people. Who? My people. Who? My people. This is God speaking. And the word my is a possessive pronoun. This is to indicate possession belong to him. 
you've been taught in that Christian church and from grandmama and mama, bless their hearts, that God loves everybody. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are all precious in his sight. When the Lord is making a clear distinction, read it again. My people! If the Lord has a set people, that means there have to be a people that are not his people. Thank you, sister. You understand? The Lord is saying his people. Who are God's people is what we should find out first. The people right here on this side. If you are on this side, you are the Lord's holy people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And I'm going to prove it to you in just a second. You understand? This is the problem with our community. And the Lord is going to tell us. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The Bible says the black, Hispanic, and Native American community is destroyed. Why? For lack of knowledge. The lack of what? Knowledge. This is proof that we are God's children. Because is the white community destroyed for lack of knowledge? Is the Asian community just dis destroyed? Is the Arab community destroyed? Everyone else's community is intact except whose? Ours. We have no economic stake in our own communities. If we want to go and get chicken, who we got to go to to get carry out? Asians. If a black woman want to go and get hair supplies, who she go buy them hair supplies from? Asians. If we want to go and get gas for donuts, who we got to go to? The Arabs. And if we want to get assistance to live, who else we got to go to? The white man. Everybody has a stake in our community except us. And the Lord is telling us this problem exists because this reason. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you telling me the black community is destroyed because we lack knowledge. What the, the question now is, what knowledge do we not have in the black community? I'll tell you what it is. The black community is not destroyed because we don't graduate high school enough. The black community is not destroyed because not enough of us go to college. It's not talking about the knowledge of this world. The knowledge that we lack as a people is the knowledge that's in this book. The wisdom that the Lord has given his people. What's some of that knowledge? If a man lay with a man, it's an abomination to the Lord, and his blood shall be on him. What's some of this knowledge? Thou shalt not murder. What's some of this knowledge? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not sleep with your brother's wife. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not be a liar. All these things are meant to make our lives better. But instead, what do we follow? We follow religion instead of what this book says. Christianity has absolutely nothing to do with the Bible. And I'm going to prove it to you. The Christian church will tell you what? God loves everybody. When that's not in this book. If you can show me in this book where it says God loves everybody, we'll pack up and leave right now. What we have to understand as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is that we are destroyed because we don't understand that this Bible is speaking to one set of people throughout the entire book. While everybody goes to church, every race of people goes to church and believe that they can serve the God of this book, in all actuality, they are not the people that this Bible is talking to. They are not the people that God loves. Because guess what? God does not love everybody. The Christian church has taught that God loves everybody when that's not in the Bible. And I'm going to prove it to you. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The Bible says God's people. Who are God's people? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Bible says God's people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. What knowledge do we lack? What's in this Bible? Because the Christian church doesn't teach what's in this Bible. So now, because the church doesn't teach what's in here, black people lack knowledge. Black people lack wisdom. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans lack understanding about the basic things in life. Because the people that we have been going to to learn about God has been lying about God. The people that we have been going to to think we are getting closer to God is putting us further away from God. And that's your slimy, gator shoe wearing, child molesting, wife sleeping with, money stealing pastor, man. 
Everybody thinks their pastor is the exception. Your pastor is in an institution of white supremacy, and that's Christianity. Christianity is white supremacy, when the Bible is black supremacy. Right, right. Because the Bible is talking to one set of people, and that's niggas all throughout. The people that America hates. God's children, man. Keep reading. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. This is talking to the black, Hispanic, and Native American community. Because we rather be American than be the Israelites according to the Bible. Because we rather be Democrat and Republican. Because we rather be Christian and Muslim and Mormon. Because we rather be part of the gay community and all types of different pronouns and all that garbage. The Lord says he has rejected our people. When you see little black kids get killed by stray bullets, you better understand it's because you'd rather be an American instead of being who the Lord says we are. When you hear about that sister that was raped on a train and nobody did a goddamn thing but film, it's because you'd rather be a Christian and an American than serve the God of the Bible. When you see what happens to our people and the tragedies that happen to us every day, just know you are choosing to let this happen by not accepting what the Lord has given us. And that's a holy lineage, a covenant, man. A covenant to make us special. You understand? But we have rejected the Lord's covenant. We have rejected what the Lord has given us. And it's so sad because everybody else is claiming it for themselves. While the people it's intended for is claiming it for themselves. We reject the Bible and what it really means. Meanwhile, the Jewish man runs the entire earth with our identity. In our land. Wealth from our people. We have to come back to what this book says. And the first way you do that, you leave that goddamn church. You know why? Because that church is the biggest programming of white supremacy in the black community. The Christian church is a military psyops operation. You understand? If you go read about the United States Army, before they go into a country and put boots on the ground, they conduct what they call psyops, psychological operations. And this is in order to prevent loss of life and loss of money. Meaning the white man understands that before you have to fight physically, if you can win the hearts and minds of a people, you don't have to go and fight. You understand? Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. The Lord has rejected us as his people. You understand? Because we'd rather be Christian. Now, like I was saying, the military, they do what they call psyops. And that's when they go and brainwash the people to support what they believe. The black community has been brainwashed through Christianity. Through this image right here, the fact that we think the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth is a white man. And that's talk. When the Bible says he's a black man with woolly hair, lets you know that the Christian church is an institution that spreads lies. You understand? That's how they take over nations. Before they even put soldiers in the country, they send pamphlets and leaflets of information of why you should hate your country and why you should get rid of your culture and that's what black people have done being Christian we have rejected our culture we have rejected what the Lord has said in this Bible and instead we've accepted what the pastor says when the pastor is working with America the pastor is working with the oppressor you understand we have to reject these Christian churches give me Matthew 1 and 21 you understand the Christian church teaches Christ came and died for everybody. Well, that's not even true. Christ, a black man, came and died for his people. Why do you think a black... When you say, I'm saved in the Christian church, what are you saved from? For all you sanctified Christians, let me... Anybody want to answer on behalf of your church? When you say you're saved, what are you saved from? You don't know, do you? Because it doesn't make sense. The Bible says, he who endureth to the end shall be saved. But you go to church and you believe that if you confess with your heart and mind and with your mouth that you believe Jesus is, is God and all that garbage that you saved. How are you saved? So you're telling me those nine black men and women that was in church in South Carolina, they were saved? Now I wish they were saved 
because maybe Dylan Roof Storm, a white devil, wasn't been able to murder them in cold blood while they thought they were serving God. Which shows you, you're not saved, man. The Christian church is not teaching you the truth according to this Bible. Christ is coming back to save the only people that need saving. And who is that? You can look around and find out who are the people that need saving. Who are the people laying on the streets in the cold? Everywhere, exactly. Everywhere. You understand? It's us. We are the ones laying on the street. You see a homeless white man, he's a lazy bastard who has fumbled the bag. You understand? Because as a white man in your own society, there is absolutely no way that you should be homeless. You understand? What you got to understand is that Christian church and the religion of Christianity is a religion of child molesters and murderers and liars. The Christian church doesn't speak out when, they, when children are molested. Our, everybody was mad at R. Kelly. When R. Kelly is a product of the Christian church. Everybody wants to say, I stand with Dave Chappelle. How do you stand with Dave Chappelle when you go to a church that supports the LGBT community? Christianity believes that you can be gay and God still loves you. When well, that's not in the Bible. God says you're disgusting if you sin against him. You understand? Read this. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Now who are we talking about right here? It says she shall bring forth a son. This is talking about Mary. The mother of Christ. You understand? And everybody knows Christ's mother's name was Mary. And this is talking about the prophecy of Mary having Christ. Keep reading. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people. Now we read about the prophecy of Mary having her son named Christ. And it says he should call him Jesus. In the Hebrew, it's Yahweh Shai. You understand? And the Lord said, he shall do what? For he shall save his people. Whose people? His people. All people. His people. Some people. His people. The Bible says Christ, who you know to be Christ today, is coming back to save his people. Once again, the word his is a possessive pronoun, meaning this is to indicate possession. That's like if you say this is my girl, that means she belongs to you and the other girls don't belong to you. If you say, this is my child, this child belongs to you and the other ones don't belong to you. So if the Christian church is teaching that God loves everybody and Christ died to save everybody, why is it saying in the Bible that he came to save who? His people. His is a possessive pronoun. That means he has a people that are his and then there are people that are not his. Well, this is the problem. Because you go to a church, instead of following what this Bible says... I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the south. Black power! Uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Yeah. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. Okay. 144,000 men on one accord. Uh. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. Oh, Real niggas across the board, ain't, ain't no suckers around no us. Uh. You was looking for the truth, well, that's how you found us. Uh. Now it's time to lace your boots up. Yeah. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Yeah. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Uh. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people of the power standing uh. strong like a man. Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards no. Not avoided for grand Nigga is step before the sun Rather die like a man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die 